Hi children, welcome to Educa. Today we are with a new video from Grade 8 Science. We are discussing the Unit 8 Changes in Matter. I have divided this lesson into few parts. Today we are discussing the first part. Our subtopic is Physical Changes and Chemical Changes. Tear a paper into small pieces. To the paper, it's torn into pieces. It is still a paper. So, when tearing a paper, its composition is not subjected to any other change. Something which is not paper cannot be formed by tearing the paper. Therefore, such changes are known as physical changes. Let's see what is the physical change. Changes in which the composition of matter does not change even through its nature of existent changes are known as physical changes. Burn another piece of paper. However, when the paper is burned, ash and smoke are formed. There, the composition of the paper change and new substances are formed. Such changes are known as chemical changes. Let's see what is the chemical change. Changes in which the composition of matter forming new substances are known as chemical changes. Let's study the nature of physical changes. We have to do activity by using a beaker, water, salt, tripod, spirit lamp or a Bunsen burner. What we have to do? Take 250 milliliter beaker and add about 50 milliliter of water into it. Add about 1 tablespoon of powdered salt into it and dissolve thoroughly. Keep a wire gauge on the tripod and place the beaker on it. Heat the beaker using a spirit lamp or a Bunsen burner until water is completely vaporized. Let's see the observation. A residue can be seen at the bottom of the beaker. That residue is the salt that was previously dissolved in water. Conclusion of that practical is, it is clear that the change happening during the dissolving of salt in water is a physical change. Let's investigate the nature of chemical changes by doing a small activity. We have to use a magnesium ribbon, a candle or a spirit lamp. What we have to do, take a magnesium ribbon and clean it well. Burn it by holding to the flame. Let's see the observation. Before burning, the magnesium ribbon had a metallic structure. When held to the flame, it burned with the bright flame leaving a white powder. Conclusion of this practical, the composition of magnesium has changed and new substances has formed. Therefore, burning of magnesium ribbon is a chemical change. Like this, the changes we experience in our day-to-day -day life can be divided into two types, physical changes and chemical changes. Our next subtopic is changes of state as physical changes. To gain an understanding about the changes of state, we can do this activity. You have to use these things. I have divided this practical into three parts. Let's discuss it one by one. First of all, we have to place the piece of wax in a boiling tube and we have to heat it. Let's observe, then allow to cool and observe it again. You would have observed that the wax melted when it was heated in a boiling tube. You would have also observed that liquid wax turned into solid when it is allowed to cool. We can conclude at the end of the practical when a solid substance is heated, it is turned into the liquid state at a certain temperature. The transition of substance from the solid state to the liquid is called melting no fusion. Transition of the substance 
from the liquid state to solid state is called freezing. In second part, we have to put some pieces of ice into beaker and we have to heat it. Then observe, continue heating when after the piece of ice completely turn into water. Make your observation. Hold the plate of glass over the beaker when water boils. You have to do this as a teacher demonstration. Let's discuss the observation and conclusion of this part. You would have observed that ice turn into water. Ice is substance that exists in the solid state. What is the liquid? The con conversion of substance from solid state to liquid state also a change of state and it is known as fusion. When that water is heated further, water vaporizes. The change of liquid into gas is known as vaporization. When water boils, formation of droplets of water on the glass plate can be observed. These droplets were formed by the cooling steam. The conversion of substance that exists in gas state into liquid state is called condensation. In third part of the practical, we have to put few pieces of iodine into crucible and we have to heat it. Hold and invert the funnel of the little above the crucible. This is the crucible. We have to observe when crystals of iodine were heated in the crucible, you would have seen that iodine turned directly into the gas. When that iodine gas was burned into with gas surface, crystals of iodine can be seen on the surface from this. It is clear that when iodine vapor cools, it directly turns into solid iodine without becoming liquid. The turning of solid into vapor without passing through the liquid state is also a change of state. It is known as sublimation. During a change of state, no new substances are formed by changing the composition. Therefore, changes of state are physical changes. We can draw it like this. By drawing the physical matter, solid, liquid and gases, then the physical changes. Solid turning into liquid we call is fusion liquid turn into solid is it is freezing when the liquid changing into gas it is vaporization gas changing into liquid is its condensation then solid changing into gas is sublimation this is what we have to learn to the first part of the changes in matter our next video is chemical changes in same lesson thank you